All right, today I want to show you guard retention part two as in wide belt program. In the last video, I showed you the way to retain a position against the outside step pass and then inside knee slice. So today, I just want to show you how to retain a position against the leg truck. Then I want to show you, I want to show two ways to escape from the leg truck step by step. Okay? And then at the end of the video, I want to show the sequence drill against the knee slide, triangle, and leg truck. Let's get started. Okay, this is the leg truck. See, he grabs one of my legs, then drag. See? Then he's going to control my hips like this. See? Once he stays on the hips, he can pass my guard. This is the structure. Then when I turn the guard rotation, I want to make a priority to do step by step. Before it gets worse, I want to do easy technique. Okay? This is the first technique. So when he drags my legs here, see? So this is a sign for the next run. Before he drags my right leg completely, I want to block him. Like making an issue with the right side of my shin, see? All I want to do is open my right shin here, you see? Now I can use my shin against his upper body. Then I can retreat the movement, you see? It's way harder for him to do the lecture, right? In order for him to complete the movement, he needs to push me, you see, here. First, I want to avoid it, right? Then I can retreat the position, okay? Next, I start blocking his shoulder on this side, see? Then this is not a good angle for me to recover. So, as soon as I make the frame on this side, I set the floor and then I scoop my hips. See, I start being face to face. Once I make the angle, now I want to regain the position, okay? I swing my leg, then if it's possible, I just want to step his shoulder, right? Now I have the leverage to pull my leg out, then I come back to the original position. See? As soon as it comes, you see? All of this open you here, right? You can make more time to retain a position, okay? Then I can even swing my leg now, see? My hips are pointed in that direction. In order for me to use my left leg efficiently, I gotta change the angle by doing a hip escape. See? I play, scoop my hips, you see? This. Like a stop in the inside pressure pass. After I write this, there's another way to do, right? I swing my all the way to reach this side. You see? Then, once I do, I slightly push the shoulder with my left leg, and then I pull my right leg up. See, as soon as I come back, I have to change the position like this, right? If I keep it here, you can find a space to drag my legs, you see? The original position is this, you see? My knees are really close to my shoulders each other. And then my soles are pointed here like this. Not even going like this, okay? Here. This is the position I want to keep. Okay, next one. It's a way worse than last technique. So, last technique. I only open my knee. Then, I have a chance to get back to face to face. So this time, uh, he do it well. So here, you see? He already stands on my knee like this. Then, I have no space to do, right? See, this kind of situation. My hips are completely smashed. So in that case, I can no longer do the hip escape with the friend, right? It's more like you're doing a sit-up escape, right? It's pretty difficult for me to escape on the ground level. So I sit up from this position. Before I sit up, I make the frame on his shoulder here. This, see? As soon as I make the frame, I pull my left elbow behind. You see, I slightly sit up. Then from this position, you see? In order for me to make the leverage, I slightly push his hips away with this leg, you see? Then as I do so, I can make the leverage to scoop my hips out. And then, I reset the position. So in this case, I have no choice for me to open the top knee. In that case, you see, I make the frame like this, see? Not the other side, see? I need to block the near side of the shoulder, here. This, okay? I cannot sit up now. I use my elbow, see? Look how I lean back, see? Once I put my elbow on the mat, I slightly push it away. 
with my hamstring, like doing a bicycle kick. You see, I can take the pressure a little bit. Now I come up, you see? Once I come up, all I'm doing is pull my right leg out. You see, I'm not gonna pull my left leg up. So from this position, as if I scooping my hips back by doing a sit up escape, you see? And then I can pull my leg out. This is not a good angle yet. I need to pull my left leg from now. This. Then, I regain a position. All right, once you understand how to block the leg drag, Okay, now we do the sequence drill, a gravitational sequence. Then first, I want to pick two guard passes, uh, two outside passes, let's try. Outside step, and then leg drag. So each time, I have to react properly, okay? For the outside step pass, this, okay? I block his ankle and shin, I scoop my hips, then I come back. I already showed the previous video. If you haven't taken a look, you can check that one, okay? So when it comes to this slide, you see the first one, you see I open my knee. This is how I block, right? As soon as I open, I block fast on the shoulder, I scoop my hips, and then I come back, okay? I'll combine two techniques. Always got to pass, okay? So when it comes to outside step, I regain a position. For the leg drag, I open, then this. Okay, next one, now we combine a knee slide and leg drag. So, two types of gun pass, inside pressure, the outside pass. So when it comes to knee slide, we can block, and then we turn a position. Then he comes to leg drag, you see, I open my knee, and then we cover knee slide on this side, this, see? So I block inside, outside, every single time, with the proper reaction. Right? Next one, we combine three guard passes. That's what we try this uh, week, okay? Inside pressure, outside step pass, leg drop. Every single time, I have to react properly, okay? First, he comes one of the guard passes. Outside, you see? I regain. Then, leg drop, I open my knee, and then I recover. For the knee slide, block. See? Each time I have to react properly. See? Then once you do it well, you can do with a random reaction. Okay? He's gonna pick some taking some water size, okay? And then react properly each time. So this is how you practice guard retention. Each technique has a way to defend. So you gotta react properly. If you do the wrong reaction, you will get passed. 